sprint. Martin, he, is, uh, he has been sitting here since the 20 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the race. You made a very aggressive last lap. Yeah, I was uh, a bit lucky today because uh, Frederick was uh, was stronger and he fell on the on the last uh, downhill. So yeah, I'm a bit disappointed for him because he's a really nice guy, strong, and he's at home. But uh, I'm sure he will uh, try to to take it tomorrow. Is this telling you his his fault? Telling you that if you want to win uh, championships or Olympics in sprint, you need to shoot zero. Or? Yeah, we both know it. And uh, of course, sometimes you can uh, win with uh, some mistakes, but uh, shooting clean is the best way to, to be safe. What about your form? Are you in top form too early, or is it uh, possible to hold this for a very long mm -hmm. time? It's a typical journalist question, you know. Yeah, I'm a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I won the opening last year and two years ago, and I was a world champion on the world championship. So, yeah, I'm sure that my shape would be okay on Sochi, and uh, I, I can be. Good, good, good enough to win if I, uh, if I shoot clean on if I'm uh, in, in, in a good day. Uh, are you going to follow the same pattern as last season, when before the world champion on the way to the Olympics? Uh, no, it will be some adjustment before. Uh, some uh, I will miss some races. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can't say now uh, which one because I, I don't know yet. I have to wait to. To see my uh, my shape, and uh, but I, I will uh, miss some ways to to be in better shape for Olympic Games. Are you surprised that uh, Frederick is the closest to you today? Um, I'm not surprised. You know, it's exactly the same podium that uh, on the World Championships last year. So uh, I know these two guys really well, and I know they are really strong. So. There is a lot of uh, really good athletes uh, in the battle on the World Cup, but uh, Tim and uh, Frederick are beyond the, beyond the best. About tomorrow, is there any special tactics or is it just do as normal? We'll see. I heard about uh, a big win tomorrow, so I hope it will not be really hard because, uh, like uh, we both uh, saw, I'm not really good on the, on the wind. <laughs> We think you're good in everything. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick, tell us about your race and what happened at the end of the race. Yeah, it was almost a perfect race until the last uh, the last kilometer. Then I fell in a in a steep downhill and yeah, lost many seconds and maybe the maybe the win today. So yeah, almost a perfect race. I heard that the former Olympic champion Thomas Vasper is chief. Of course, he was out looking for parts of your rifle up there. Did you damage it really hard or? Yeah, I break the. Uh, I don't know, you know, the piece you put to your shoulder. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I have to do some uh, <laughs> some carpenting tonight <laughs> and uh, hopefully I, <laughs> I got it right. Can you do that yourself or do you get help with that? Uh, no, I, uh, I'm i not that good in, <laughs> in that. So, uh, yeah, I have to ask my friends for that. Uh, how come that uh, you can suddenly deliver this result? The Swedes have been more or less under the the table for a long time now. Yeah, it's a bit surprising for me also. I didn't expect this great <coughs> skiing and uh, and this shape. So uh, to me, it's I'm <laughs> I'm I'm surprised actually. And uh, yeah, it would be interesting tomorrow. Also, I it's a nice. Nice position to uh, to start uh, pursuit in, and uh, yeah, I will do my best. And hopefully, I have a, <laughs> a rifle that's in one piece. <laughs> uh, did you have a full control of the situation on the last lap uh, versus Martin? I think I kept the distance quite good until the top, and and it was uh, I think six seconds before up there. So. Yeah, yeah, you never know, but I think I, I had a good chance. <laughs> we both know that he, he will uh, be uh, on my place if he don't fall. Why did you fall? What happened actually? Uh, I, th ah, I was a bit <coughs> stupid. I, yeah, in that uh, left turn, I I, I skied to as a straight into it. I didn't go the normal normal line. I did a new one and. Maybe it was a bit icy, and yeah, I fell. <laughs> Did you get too eager to to win the race? 
yeah, maybe I <laughs> I wanted to go the shortest way to the finish line. <laughs> uh, how is it to achieve this result on uh, home snow with a lot of spectators? Yeah, it's fun to do a good result in front of the home audi audience and uh, yeah, family and friends. So to me, this is uh, yeah, really, really, really good. I. I haven't done so good results here in Östersund and uh, I think it's, I hope maybe it comes more spectators tomorrow and so on with this, this result. So yeah, it would be fun. Who, who were here from your family today? Uh, who, <laughs> who was not here? <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody was here. <laughs> yeah, I had yeah, a lot of, from my hometown also, they, they have gone by a car here to, to watch it and so it's, it's nice to be doing this result. So the village is closed today. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, Tim Burke uh, on the podium again. Uh, how important is it for you to get a result like this so early in the season? Yeah, it's it's uh, great to be up here this early in the season. I think it, it shows me that uh, the training was good this summer, and I look forward to hopefully more to come in the future. Are you scared about the half a minute to Marta with one penalty? No, not really. I mean, when Martin is, is on, he's for sure very tough to beat and today things were not so perfect for my skiing. Um, I was I was dying big time in the last loops and uh, I was actually thought I was fighting for maybe a top 10 position when I was out there. I did not think that that skiing performance would get me on the podium today. You put your hand in the, in the air when you crossed the line. It looks like uh, it was some kind of relief when you crossed the line that you finally made a good result. Yeah, it was a big relief going from I think 60th place in the individual <laughs> To uh, third today was a big swing, so that was important for me. What do you? What can you tell about the two guys who beat you today? Like Magda said, the same podium as in the Worlds. Yeah, it's great. I mean, these two are obviously uh, two of the very best. Martin, I think, is nearly impossible to beat when he's on uh, good form, like he is today. But uh, Frederick showed that it is possible. You had no problems, no falls, no <laughs> no broken rifles. Only a broken body. I was, like I said, struggling so bad on this last last loop and the last climb, um, but I stayed on my feet, thankfully. How are we going to catch up this half a minute tomorrow? I'm hoping for wind. <laughs> <laughs> I know Martin doesn't want it, but um, the way I was feeling skiing today, I, I would love to see some crazy conditions tomorrow. <laughs> okay, any questions to the three on the podium? Otherwise, I think there are a lot of who want to talk to you a little bit alone. So thank you very much. Good luck tomorrow, guys.